survivors. And who were they? Uh, Kevin McCann and uh, Dimitri Voldov. So you didn't drive the cab? For me, the taxi medallion was an investment. I just started a new business, a moving company. TLC doesn't issue a lot of medallions. It would have been worth a small fortune. So who inherits a mere share? Nazi Hawil. She'll need it. Excuse me. Beckett. Auto theft got a hit on the stolen car parts. A guy named Lehman Jones was selling them at a chop shop. The number on the parts matches our cab. Where's Jones now? Interrogation. I found those car parts. On the car that you stripped. We have a witness who places you at the scene. So please, just stop with the lying. A witness? Okay, I stripped that taxi. <laughs> it's what I do. After you killed the driver. After I what? No, I didn't kill any driver, because there was no driver. He was left in the warehouse. Robbed and shot in the head. Well, not by me, okay? I was cruising, and I saw the cab sitting empty, and I figured no sense in letting good parts go to waste. What time was that? I don't know. About 11.15, probably. Oh. Well, there you go. That's right when he died. No, no, I don't hurt people. I'm just a car guy. Your witness must have done it. That's it. And now he's just playing innocent bystander or something. There was no witness. What do you mean? I was bluffing. Bluffing? Yes. No. Yeah, she's allowed to do that. I'm surprised you don't know that. No, I mean, there was a guy there. I saw him. What guy? Describe him. I didn't get a clear look. He ran off when I pulled up. But he was there. He was there looking for something in the car. What makes you say that? Because he did a number on the interior. He tore up the upholstery. Think he's telling the truth? The guy does not have the improv skills to make up a lie like that. CSU check the car for signs that someone else tampered with it. You got it. Yeah, I... Sorry, you guys, I gotta get this. Not now, Ryan. What's going on with her? You know, Becky. She plays it close to the vest. So, I uh, spoke to one of the drivers who rents a shift with Amir's cab. Kevin McCann. Uh, no, the other one, Dmitry Voldov. He alibied out, but he had lots to say about McCann. Him and Amir got in a major fight two days ago. About what? Well, Dmitry didn't know, but Amir told him he was gonna fire McCann. And where's McCann now? Renting a shift at Allied Taxi. So, I'll, I'll tell Beckett then. Could you? That'd be best. Yeah. Amir and I had words. No law against that, right? Where were you last night at 11.15? In this cab, driving a drunk bond trader to the Upper West. Why? Well, because that's when he was murdered. You're kidding me. Look, I didn't lay a hand on that guy. Why did you and he fight two days ago? Because he was raping me on rent. If the guy could afford it, he was flashing a roll that could choke a horse. And five grand easy. Wait, was he known for carrying around that much money? First I saw of it. Look, um, are we done here? Because my meter's running. The meter was struggling to pay medical bills. What was he doing with that much cash? It's Esposito. He needs us back at the crime scene ASAP. Remember Lehman Jones said that some other dude messed with the cab? Uh huh? Well, CSU just figured out why. The car had cameras. Pinhole cameras, microphones too. Great. All we had to do was rewind to last night, see who was after him, case closed. We can't. They ripped out the hard drives with all the video data. What the hell's going on here? 